Hello everybody, welcome to another vlog. It's um, <clears throat> it's Saturday today. I'm not really sure of the date, the 28th or something. I'm just getting ready, not getting ready, but I'm just gonna do probably the most exciting thing of my day, which is go down and get a package, which has been delivered for me. We have like a reception in our building that, take, that can take packages. Sometimes the post just comes straight to our door. Sometimes it will go to reception, then we go down and collect it. So I'm gonna go down and get that, very excited. The concierge isn't there at the moment, so I'll have to come back later. Okay, wash hands as soon as we get in. Also, I've got out all my hand creams because as seems to be the general consensus everyone's hands are dry from washing them so much I'm sorry the lighting keeps changing so much um yeah everyone's hands are dry and I suddenly was like oh, where's all my hand creams I know I had some and I know that I had this one from Byredo this is Mojave Ghost Mojave Ghost is that how you say it this smells really yummy lovely and fresh that I always have by my bed I then dug out this Cordially hand and nail cream, which I found in my bag, which is great. And then I was looking in my bathroom cupboard today, and I stumbled upon this from Elemis. It's their Sea Lavender and Sampire, ha Sampire Hand and Nail Balm. I don't know if I've actually mentioned it to you, but I have the shower milk of this, and the scent is amazing. So I'm very happy just to have found this in general, but also to have like a full-size hand cream, because hopefully... That will see us through and the plan for today is not to go crazy yeah it's a lot colder today than it has been so that's a bit rubbish but yeah there isn't really much of a plan today i think i find the weekends harder than during the week i don't know but yeah we're going to go to the supermarket a bit later on to do our big shop and i've made a list of everything that we need and yeah that's about it really for today i have not put any makeup on apart from mascara and i've done my eyebrows i've like left my skin because i'm t trying to use this as an opportunity to just let my skin breathe and really like focus on my skin and get it back to where it was because it's not awful but i definitely feel like the tone is not great at the moment i have some redness it's quite uneven pores everything so i'm trying to address those things I think I mentioned since finding out I was pregnant, or since being pregnant, sorry, my skin has felt a little bit more sensitive. Um, I haven't had any acne or anything, and I know that can be a thing with pregnancy, so I have been quite lucky, but I just feel like I really want to kind of look after my skin at the moment, and I've got all this extra time, so I may as well. <laughs> so um, try not to wear makeup too much in the day. And yeah, I think that's, that's kind of all the updates that I have um, at the moment. We've just got back from our food shop. Just made myself a little cup of tea. And I think I'm gonna have myself a piece of my banana and blueberry cake that I made earlier this week. There's still about a third of it left, maybe a quarter. But look at this. Is there anything more satisfying than a nice full fridge? Now, if I had thought this through, one of my tasks last week that I didn't actually manage to complete was to clean out the fridge. Um, and it was quite empty uh, before we just went to the supermarket so I should have really done it then but I didn't so we'll wait for it to kind of empty a little bit more and I'll do that again I'll put that on the list for next week but yeah we have just got all our meat for the week eggs of course lots of lovely fresh veg um, I think we're going to do a lamb curry for Sunday dinner tomorrow and then we've got some salmon prawns the, these are like Cajun chicken breasts, which are already seasoned, which are yum. And then some chicken thighs, sausages, some like sliced chorizo that Hainty likes. Um, halloumi and this cheese we already had. Some diced chorizo in the back there, a little bit of fresh pasta. I think we're going to have fresh pasta for dinner tonight because it's Saturday. You don't want to be cooking anything big on a Saturday, do you? I mean, I wouldn't mind, but I've cooked every dinner this week, which I know sounds like, oh God, cooked every dinner. But... And I think many of you can probably sympathise. Um, that's kind of been the highlight of the day, deciding what to have for dinner. 
um, and also it then just is quite labour intensive. <laughs> I mean, that's what it's come to now. That is what is labor intensive for me, cooking dinner. But you know what I mean? It's like coming up with ideas every day of like something different to eat. Um, not that we really, I mean, we're actually quite simplistic eaters. We could eat the same thing every day, but I just feel like as I've got the chance to, I want to experiment a bit more with uh, like actual cooking. This is where I feel like I wish I still had HelloFresh or I had kept the HelloFresh. I did keep the HelloFresh recipe cards when I was getting HelloFresh. And I had some recipe books and I have no idea where any of those things have gone. And I wonder, oh, I could check in the cupboard, but I wonder if the same fortune, is that the word I'm looking for? No, I don't think it is, but I'm wondering if the same outcome for my cookbooks, it was the same as my old Christmas tree decorations. I can imagine that when I was moving, I was just a bit like, oh, I don't need these, I'll just buy new ones. Um, and I probably threw them out, which was really quite silly. But yeah, when I was getting HelloFresh, it is really good for recipe ideas. And it's always surprising, like, how quick and easy all the food is. Anyway, but I mean, I can just Google them, can't I? It's not the end of the world. I don't need HelloFresh cards to know what to, like, think of recipes. Okay, we have our parcel. Okay, so this is the cardigan I ordered. How is this? How does this look? It's actually not that warm. Yeah, actually that, this, I can, I think I can work with this. And then the next thing I got, well, I think might be quite big. I ordered this in a large. But I could have really done with this in a medium. Just never know with Urban Outfit is sizing, if it's gonna come up small or large. Like even though it said it was oversized, I just worry that it's gonna come up not as oversized as I want, but this is quite, this is quite big. So as I say, great for a bump. And it is slightly see-through, but I think that's, I don't mind that too much. Yeah, I think I'm happy with those two. Let's whack the cards from that again. <laughs> so there we go, that's my haul. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. So Haynes, he's just given his feedback and he says that I look like Obi-Wan Kenobi in this cardigan. Maybe he's half right. I still think it's cute. So what do, what's the general consensus? I think it's nice just for lounging around the house in. So, um, I've just got a chicken breast in the oven because we're having this pasta with pesto and chicken and broccoli. But I'm gonna make myself a little Saturday night tipple. And don't worry, because I know what you're thinking, but Mary, you're pregnant. How are you having a tipple? Well, let me tell you, if I can just put you down. Yeah, no, it's not a tipple as you know it, but it is Saturday night and I thought, obviously given the circumstances, there's not much going on. So I look forward to things, as I say, like cooking dinner and a little tipple on a Saturday and everyone else seems to be able to have wine at any time of day at the moment um and that is one thing about being pregnant during this time not that i'm like a raging alcoholic but um you know i wouldn't be drinking at like 2 p.m every day or anything um but the option to have a little tipple so i have and i got this a while ago actually i went to a yoga festival with my sister and i got given this and it's a non-alcoholic gin um there's a brand that i think is quite well known called sipsmith but this one is called Cedars. Is it? No, Sip Smith is actual gin. Seed lip. Seed lip. I think that's it. That's the non alcoholic gin. Um, this one's called Cedars and it's the crisp version, but they have a couple of other versions. I'm not sure what they are. I think maybe there's a fresh and then something else. Um, but it says juniper, cucumber, and chamomile. And it is just like the real thing. So. I thought, well, I can still partake in a tipple because I think when you're pregnant, you don't always want to drink like things like schlur and like fizzy elderflower sometimes are a little bit too sweet. So it's nice to be able to still have like a grown up drink and not have to worry. So I've got my little shot thing. Also we'll do one of these, which would be the equivalent of like a double shot. I don't think I've got any ice, which is a bit annoying. Okay, there we go rather mullered piece of lime there. So, oh, you can't see. So I squeeze it into the gin. 
Well, we have got, we've got a little bit of wood, a cheeky little bit of ice, just enough. And then I did buy some tonic. And I looked this up because I'd seen something about pregnant women and tonic, because um, it's got something in it called Quion or something, which apparently you're not supposed to have. But um, there's not very much in tonic at all, so the amount that you'd have to consume for that to affect you um, isn't worth worrying about so I just took the executive decision that I would still drink tonic water because I tried to make this with like fizzy water and some elderflower cordial but it wasn't quite the same so I thought I would just treat myself to this I don't think I'm gonna drink it all the time um, I just get this bottle and I did get the fever treat elderflower tonic water because um, that is one of my favorites and there we go oh lovely happy Saturday Tonight's very easy, but no less delicious dinner of prosciutto filled pasta with chicken breast, uh, broccoli, halloumi in there, garlic, chilli and pesto. So that's double word, which is five times two is ten. Just woken up, as you might be able to tell. It's a nice sunny day, which is positive. It's Tuesday today. And I believe the last time we spoke was... Was it Friday? Was it Thursday? Was it Saturday? Yeah, I had a few off days, really. I was a little bit teary the last few days. I think Saturday was quite, was the hardest day. There was a day I just felt teary all day long. And then Sunday, like, on and off teary. Yesterday I woke up feeling teary. <laughs> and then I was okay throughout the day, but... Yeah, I think I'm, it's just... The way things are, aren't they? It's just, um, you're gonna have some days where you feel good and some days where you feel not great. And I don't know, I think this week just, yeah, the last few days I've just been feeling a bit like meh. Like I can't really be bothered with anything. And I think on the weekend I just felt down because I felt teary because I woke up and I was like, it's just another day of nothing. <laughs> Overall, I don't feel like low. And I don't feel like worried, really. I just, it's just getting through it is a bit of a challenge and not feeling like you really want to do that much. Like I keep feeling like I want to try and exercise and then I just don't. My routine's been getting later, so it's 10 o'clock now and I've only just got up. But last night we were up till about one. Uh, binge watching the morning show which we've just started watching which is amazing if you haven't watched it I highly recommend if you're looking for a series we've pretty much watched like everything that there is to watch well that's a lie not everything but there's no series that we can binge at the moment because the last ones we binged were High Fidelity which is also amazing Euphoria but that was a while ago what was the last there's another series we watched recently that was really good and I can't think what it was we watched the Tiger King, of course, and now we're watching the morning show and it's so good. So we watched like three episodes last night and that took us to one o'clock, which for me is unheard of. Never do I go to bed that late, my God. I'm usually in bed at 10. So then to only wake up at like 10 this morning isn't so bad, I suppose. But again, it's like, well, why am I worried? If I wake up at 10, I wake up at 10. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> I just don't like, I don't know. And then if anything, it makes the day shorter. So why, why? Why would that be a problem? We lost an hour on Sunday, which was the first time I've ever been thankful for losing an hour. Because um, the clocks went forward. Yeah. For daylight savings. I was like, I, I, I'm fine with losing that hour. Anything to make an hour less in the day is great. I am actually going out the house today because I've got a midwife appointment. It's round the corner of my doctor's, uh, which is great. 
not heard anything about not being able to do it. My doctors, since this whole thing has, has happened, like I walk past my doctors every day and they've had signs on the door saying, if you've got any symptoms of coronavirus, do not come in. And then, yeah, later, I do want to go for a walk because I haven't been for a walk for the last two days. Because we have actually been kind of busy-ish. I've been doing bits and pieces. I've been productive-ish. But I've just not felt particularly, like, peppy, I suppose you'd say. So we are back from the midwife. <laughs> it was just a checkup, really. So nothing. She took my blood pressure. Had to wee in a pot. And then we also listened to the heartbeat today. Which was really nice and comforting as well because she was asking because I'm like 17 weeks now and so she was asking me if I've felt any movement and I was like I think I have like a few like flutters here and there um let me put you down I said yeah I definitely felt like a couple of weeks ago I did and then like this last week or so I don't really feel like I felt anything and that was I wasn't worried but I was a bit like oh I haven't felt anything for a while um, so again, you're kind of a bit like, oh, is everything all right? So to hear the heartbeat today was really good and it was moving around a lot. And she was like, oh, it's a very happy baby. I was like, of course it is. I am now just about to make a smoothie, which I've been drinking recently because I mentioned, did I mention to you, I'm trying to like look after my skin a bit more um, and take this opportunity to get it like looking gorge. And I remembered I had this in my fridge, which is from the beauty chef. I bought it from Colt Beauty um, a while ago and it actually expires in July so I have to get on it and I when I first bought it I did try it but it doesn't taste the best but I thought yesterday well let me put it in to a smoothie and see if it tastes any better because it's kind of berry-ish but not quite I can't really describe the the flavor but it's their glow in a beauty powder and it's basically a probiotic and the reason why I started using this again is because I was looking at collagen supplements to start taking because for my skin on my face but also I was reading that it's good for skin elasticity so for the old bump um obviously that's going to stretch out and just to kind of try and prevent as much trauma to that area of the skin as possible I don't know if it'll work probably not but I was thinking oh I might get a collagen supplement and on Colt Beauty this brand does like a collagen I guess medicine almost like uh I don't know, it's like a liquid that you would like take a teaspoon every day. But I remembered I had this, so I thought, well, let me use this up first and then maybe get just the collagen one. So, yeah, I've been putting this in my smoothies every day. And actually, it's very pleasant with my berry smoothie. I've been enjoying it. So we'll see if it does the trick. But it's this is mainly a probiotic rather than, I think, rather than for collagen specifically. So I feel like you could take this and the collagen supplement if you wanted to. They also do like a hydration one. Um, but I thought I might as well give it a go. I've got to use it up anyway, so why not? So all I do in my smoothie is a bit of banana. This is a berry mix that I've just got because I will mix like blueberries, raspberries, a bit of banana and then a teaspoon of this. Oh, and some coconut milk. And it's really quite pleasant. Cheers, there we go. And yeah, I just double checked with my midwife that it was okay to take probiotics. She said, yes, that's fine. And then alongside that, the only other supplements that I'm currently taking are my, I mentioned before, my Pregnacare ones from Vitabiotics. And then I might start doing the collagen too. It's Thursday today and I haven't really vlogged that much this week. It's been a very slow week. And by that, I mean, I've barely done anything. And I feel like I'm just kind of getting into the swing of like, the days just being days I suppose <laughs> with that it has been very slow and I just haven't really been doing very much at all um which I'm not I'm not beating myself up about because I just think it's just the way things are yes they went for a walk and then we popped to the butcher and got some meat for the next few days just as like a little treat to have something to look forward to I thought today I was just going to do some face masks because I saw I was watching Essay the other day and she did like a proper spa sesh like three face masks and my skin i feel like the tone and texture is actually improving you can see i've still got a little bit of blotchiness here but i kind of always am a bit blotchy there i thought i'd do three face masks because my skin feels really congested so i'm going to do a exfoliating like slash resurfacing face mask then i'm going to do like a clay base mask and then 
I've got some sheet masks that I need to use up so then I'm just going to whack one of those on like a moisturising one. I'm going to do the Elemis resurfacing um, gel mask today because I don't know, it just really made sense to do an exfoliating or resurfacing mask and then do a clay mask because then you've exfoliated all the dead skin off and then the clay can like do its thing. I didn't actually really come in here to talk about skincare. I wanted to just touch on actually being pregnant at this time because I have realised, like I'm, I kind of mentioned it the other day because I went to my midwife. I've got my 20 week scan in like three weeks, which is really exciting. Um, so I think I will do a pregnancy update if you guys are interested in that on like my second trimester. Um, but to be completely honest, with all that's been going on, I just feel like my pregnancy is kind of taken a bit of a backseat and I even like forget. My pregnancy has been easy up until this point, like I haven't had any kind of, uh, I don't know, I just haven't really struggled to be honest. I've had days, off days, but overall, my, I would say my pregnancy has been a breeze up until this point, which has been wonderful. Uh, the second trimester by nature apparently is easier anyway. The biggest thing, which I know I haven't mentioned, is I have got my appetite back, so I'm eating completely normally, a nice, very balanced diet, which is wonderful. Food is, like, exciting again. Well, exciting, but um, pleasurable again, I suppose. Um, so that's been the biggest change, which has been amazing. Other than that, it really has just taken a back seat and I just haven't been focusing on it. Okay, Mud Mask is Glam Glow. This is the Youth Mud Glow Stimulating Treatment. I actually prefer the white one. I mentioned when I did my actual skincare routine with you in the last vlog that I don't really do Mud Mask that much anymore. So I actually don't have anything else other than this. I'm just going to leave it on my chin for like five minutes. And whilst I've got that on, I'm going to do some of the Patchology Eye Gels. I feel like you whack them on there and they just stay put. I never know which way around I eye gel should go. Well, yeah, actually it probably should be. Should, it should be more like that, shouldn't it? Okay. Okay, rookie mistake, hun. But that makes sense to me. Or does it not? Do you think this bit should be more here? Yeah, that looks maybe slightly better. Now I'm going to do a sheet mask. There were two options. Well, I have more options than this, but these are the two I picked. Patchology Hydrate and the Creme de la Mer. And because I did the Patchology Eye Mask, I'm going to do the Creme de la Mer because I can get these quite easily. This, I only have one of and can't get it very easily at all. So I thought, well, why am I saving it for best? I might as well just use it now. So this is the Creme de la Mer, the Treatment Lotion Hydrating Mask. I just feel like my mouth looks so weird. Hainsy does look like a gimp, so that's nice. Yeah, it says leave it on for eight minutes, but I feel like eight minutes is just such a waste. I've actually left it on for like 20, um, just to get the most out of it. Because I just looked up the price of this and it's £25 for one, or you can buy six for £125. The thing I would say is it has stayed on my face and like this bit hasn't been too annoying. I find with some sheet masks, this just flaps about <laughs> and goes like in your mouth. There's still so much, let's get everything off of here and we're going to just get it in the face. I'm going to just put it on my chest as well. Ooh. <laughs> this looks so weird. <laughs> I feel a bit sticky because that lotion's still just sinking in, but I'll let you know if I feel particularly... I do feel quite rejuvenated. Hello everybody. So I'm just dipping in, of course, because I didn't end this vlog. Um, it's now Sunday and I am just, yeah, coming on to say thank you so much for watching. Mundane as it's been, um, which I guess is to be expected, but I hope it was a good distraction for you if that's what you needed. And I hope you're staying positive, staying safe, staying inside as much as possible. I will see you again at some point soon.